he was changing who he was, but for years and years, for decades, he had been this guy, you know, and he was a murderer, and he had done these things, and he was, he's a real, what's that? He's a real, uh, he's, he's a full-on vampire, you know, and, and, and uh, I like the way we didn't forget that. I like the way he struggled with it, and had that internal, moralistic struggle, but, but um, he couldn't forget who he was, and I think he did the right thing by, by getting out, so that was the, it was the tragedy that was in it, but, um, but no, I don't think so. I think, I think, I think that was, it was what it was at that stage, you know? Do you think being a vampire and being alive for so long brought out more of his um, personality, like the bad personality traits, or do you think being a vampire was that bad personality trait for him? Because um, a lot of vampires are made out to be that being a vampire is the bad personality yeah, well, I think he was aware of that, and, and that was the, his struggle too. He wanted to be a real person. I think he found he found the joys of humanity, and he wanted to. And he, he started off that way too. It's hilarious! Oh my god. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, it was. Um, that's why I always love the ending. I mean, he didn't see an out, and, and and he felt like he was doing the right thing, and I I thus believed he was doing the right thing as well. So I don't think all vampires are naturally bad, but that's why it was interesting playing Mitchell because he could just he could play the really good stuff then, you know. That that was always there. It was always there, but you could you could fight through and play the play him as a real person. That, that they're the really interesting um, choices I think as an actor and, and to play a character like that. Yeah. Thank Question. Thank you. Some of the action sequences are really fun, you know. Um, I can't really tell you about it, but in the Battle of the Five Armies, there's some cool stuff coming up, and shooting that was really, really fun for me. Yeah. What about you, Aiden? Um, what was the question? The, the, the best bits about playing for the game. Um, how's this for cheese? Hanging out with this guy for two years was a lot. Of fun. Having, having a, a good buddy and a close friend uh, on, on set almost every day is uh, is great. A lot of stuff we do together, and we get to hang out, you know, invariably because of that. So um, yeah, yeah, hanging out with this guy was, was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was big. Oh. I, I was going to say drinks that. on you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a question about the forty-second anniversary of the Battle of the Five Armies. Oh, look, I said forty-seven. Yeah. I mean, thereabouts. <laughs> Did you guys ever get him back for that? Can you what? Did you ever get Martin back for making you flub so many times? Well, to be fair, it wasn't all us that were causing problems. You know, there was they had to uh, they had to match shots. They had to, there was a lot of technical stuff they were trying to do too. Um, it was the first time they saw me and Aiden together, so there's a lot of establishing stuff there. Um, but yes, we got hassled mercilessly. Uh, about, you know, like the camera operator was like. 4017, <laughs> um, Yeah, but you know, I think people were also quite sympathetic to us that day because, we, like I said, we, we were so in, like covered with gear, we couldn't move. And it was my, like, my first or second day, I think, and so I was basically terrified. I had no idea what was going on. I was like, what happened? What was this bag in? And I even been there for a little bit, so he was a bit more kind of casual with it, but I was thinking, is this what you do every day? I mean, like, yeah. Does everybody know how Dean hurt his leg? No. <laughs> <laughs> fell off a fake goat. <laughs> I went, I went, and I landed on it, and from, if it was in slow motion, it would have looked like I landed, and I was cool for about a second, and then I went. <laughs> The funny thing is they have to keep that take in the movie, so, so if you see him jump on that goat, that's the one where he's screwed Yeah, because yeah, I couldn't do it again because I was going, ah, oh, flip. Oh, shit. Hello. Hey. Hey. Um, I was wondering if you guys had a particular song that like would help you get ready to be in character. <laughs> Just the Misty Mountains remix. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just, I couldn't just, listen to anything. We've got big ears. Yeah, big ears. Never work. Stick anything in there. Never work. I don't know. I've never been weird. Before they go on set, this no. is and get pumped up. I've never really. Because <laughs> no, we get called, you know, maybe five, six in the morning. Yeah. Generally speaking, we wouldn't go on until late in the morning, probably more likely in the afternoon. So that's, you don't really know when to get ready. I mean, if you turn up and like all pumped to go, then you'd be like seven hours later. Right. A lot of hanging around. Yeah. Yeah. You're up and down all the time. It's not really like being an, yeah. an athlete or anything like that. Yeah. And Peter likes to sort of, rather than rehearse a lot, he likes, let's just film the first one and see what happens. So you're sort of, sort of learning, you're getting it on the on the go. But when we do the photo shoots, they play the music. They play the Lord of the Rings. Oh, they do, yeah. And Peter inspires us. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does help though, doesn't it? Sometimes you think, oh yeah, this is a big dramatic epic movie. You know, it's not like a yeah. Texas sync drama, so it's, 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 you've got to remember that. Hi guys. Hey. Um, I have a question. Out of all the roles that you've had, do you have any lines that remain like your favorite or that I never remember any of oh, them. No. <laughs> I don't. Oh, um, Killy. <laughs> Piece of advice you could give just about like life in general that you could give. Oh my god. That's a lot of people, I think. Do you know what do you think? If you ask me the meaning of life, done, but um, about life, oh. Thank you. Um, man, uh, that's, that's hard. I mean, look, how do, you, how do you say this as selling it like an idiot? I mean, I think it's important to be happy and to strive to be happy and, and, and do, whatever, do whatever you do to. To, to bring that around, uh, you know, I mean, no matter what you're doing or, or, or whatever, if, if you're happy doing it, it, it seems like everything's all right, eh? Hey? So, yeah. I don't know. That's a tough you know, I, I, you know, for me, personally, I reckon uh, trust in yourself, really, because I have gone through periods of time where I haven't trusted in myself or secretly sort of, you know, believed something would happen but took longer than I thought or whatever. And, you know, I think uh, if you kind of trust yourself, you know, then stuff can happen around life, yeah, around you. But you'll still kind of have your centre, and um, you know that's kind of helped me out, I think. But I mean, don't, don't, I mean, wouldn't follow my advice. <laughs> don't take my advice. <laughs> Go for it. Hi, um, I'm Jamie. Kind of following on the life advice, but um, the which advice? Man, the life advice. Right now, these are important yeah. questions. Um, <laughs> foolproof hangover cure. <laughs> you know, don't drink these days. I mean, this works every time. It's the bloody Marys. It is. Yeah, the bloody Marys work every right. time. It doesn't the feel like the right thing at the time. Yeah, yeah, it's great. But I'd go best drink, tomato juice. Yep. We, we have yeah, we have many a time discovered that. Yeah. 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 Do, do you have like a mimosas feeling? Yes, no, yes, no. Mimosas. Uh, What's you, you just need that. You need the vodka and the tomato juice and the, the bad guy. Just it just makes you feel like you're not. Well, mimosas is the champagne and orange juice, is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a little fizzy and it hurts. Nah, I can't be doing that. You have to drink it like. Okay. <laughs> Bloody Marys for me, yeah. Bloody Mary. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> He's Irish, he really, he really does. <laughs> Hi. I just heard it. I was wondering, who was the biggest trickster on set? Oh, Martin. Martin. Yeah, Martin. Yeah, Martin, yeah, the Definitely. funniest and, and, and the biggest trickster. Oh, and, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he had a lot of time to do it too. He weren't always in the mood to joke around being in the costume and stuff, but Martin could fly around in his, uh, his little hairy feet. And his <laughs> Had Peter Jackson dropped any hints about any Silmarillion filmings? Lowe's, not telling anything now. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't answering the question. Hi. Hey. Uh, I was wondering, uh, we all know how like the Fellowship and the Two Towers cast is really close. Do you think you're going to be that close with the Hobbit cast? Yeah, I mean, it's hard. We live, we live on different hemispheres, you know. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I think by and large, yeah. I think some of us, yeah, made some really good, strong friendships, and I think I would like to think that they would last, yeah. Yeah, not with the older guys, though. Don't colour them. Yeah, I can't Hello. So are you jealous that one of you got a bigger beard than the other one? No. <laughs> Wait, is it, it's not really hard. I mean the you, really had, you hardly had a beard at all and everybody else had a beard. Are you mean? I don't think so. Yeah. Um, no, I looked out. No, I, 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 I won that one, I think. Yeah, that was the worst. Uh, watching around this is worse than anything, actually. Watching the, the beards being stuck on. Uh, oh, it's so hard. Imagine it's getting, so like, a Bichon free and just sticking it on your face. <laughs> Day. That's what it's like. And then when you watch those guys at lunch, it's just awful. It's like being at an old person's home. It's like there's just food and, and the beards just come. Even every time you talk, the bloody things are going like this. <laughs> Not fun, so uh, yeah, no beard envy for me. I actually ate my moustache a little bit. <laughs> Because I had, uh, Aiden likes to eat, like, they do these things like this, like, nuts and berries and stuff, and he had a cup of it, and he gave me some. And I was doing that, and I bit down on my little metal thing at the bottom of my moustache, and I was like, it's the hardest nut, oh, really? And I realised I was, like, eating kind of my character. Question is, what aspect of your characters do you think might relate to you the best? Mm, we're both very handsome. <laughs> I agree. That could go either way, that joke. Good crowd, DNA. Good crowd. Um, what do you think about the fact that they found those little hobbit bones in New Zealand around what? where you guys made that movie? <laughs> what? <laughs> that look like humans except they're smaller and they're calling it the Hobbit skeletons or something Jesus. like that. You would probably know about this, wouldn't you? Uh, Tolkien fans were right. I didn't I didn't know that, didn't I? Hello. Hey. Um, I got a quick question. Um, when you guys were singing the Blunt the Knives song and all the songs, when you guys were recording, were you on the set or did you go back and do an additional recording? Um, yeah, all of it, all of the, all of the both. We, we, we did it before, um, didn't we? Right? We did it before we shot us because they played it. They had a loop. They were playing it back to us. Then we sang it on set. Well, let's say singing. I can't sing. So yeah, I'm in a mess. Um, yeah, and then did it again where they turned me really far down uh, in the mix. Um, so it was playing a lot. So I was sick of that song by the end of it. No, never. I mean, never. I mean, literally never. Not gonna happen. We, I mean, I think we sang it. I mean, oh, I, I, I did some pickups later on, so I actually sung that song by myself. Yeah. Oh. Oh. First day with Andy Circus, first day on set, juggling plates, trying to sing a song. Yeah. It's kind of one of those things you. Must be a nightmare. It must be a nightmare. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, guys. I'm like all the way back here. We're in the cheap seats here. Um, I just wanted to ask you, I know in the original series, uh, the whole fellowship got tattoos and stuff. Did yeah. you guys talk about that or... Um, we plot? talked about them getting tattoos, how ridiculous that was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we, no, we, we, did, we got a ring. They, they gave us a ring. Oh, cool. um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's really cool. Uh, I think I lost mine though. <laughs> I know, it sucks. I left in the hotel in London. Stephen's got stolen. Um, Stephen got stolen. Yeah, that's why we, we got him another one. I think. No, we didn't really get anything. We were kind of. Um, we didn't. We didn't need it. There's a lot of other mer merchandise. We're never going to forget about each other. I don't think. This yeah, Hobbit thing true. is going to be around for a long time. So uh, I think. I think we're all right without the tattoos. Thanks very much. But, Are you yeah. guys doing signings later, or is this it? I think that this is, is it. it. We missed you guys. Okay. Oh. oh. Sorry. Oh. Thank you. Thanks. Oops. I should also mention that if we are ending at 5.45, we have five minutes left. Are we still ending at 5.45? What if we take five more questions? How's that? Exactly. I think right. five more everybody questions. work together and help each other out. Let's get five more questions out there. Sorry, I can't sit on the back Thank you. Um, so I have... Can I ask 
Two quick questions. Oh my god, you're not going to be liked. Oh, you're not going to be liked. Uh, Only the system is... Uh... Okay, I'll just... Um, my question is, since I'm just this back girl, I feel I need to ask, who is your favorite superhero? <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous with this crowd. <laughs> It's okay, I love Batman. I love Batman. Okay. Oh, oh god. Can I can I can I say it at the end of the five questions and have a think about it? Because uh, I have obvious ones in my head um, and I don't want to say it. <laughs> I wanna have a think about that one. Give me a minute. He says Batman crying loudly. <laughs> Batman's my favorite too. Circus on the second unit. He's he's a lovely guy. He was a lot of fun, um, and he, he made this set. There was a different energy on Andy's set as well. Uh, obviously, Andy knows knows uh, uh, Peter's work and, and and how to shoot his stuff really well. So it was it was a joy to work with him, and he felt very relaxed and stuff. And there was always a lot of fun and, and, and antics and stuff with Andy. He's just such a great guy, lovely fella. So anything on his set was, was really cool. Hi again. Um, so I was just wondering, since you guys just finished filming. Uh, what was the funniest or most fun thing you think you've shot? You mean like funny for us to shoot or funny for you to watch? How about, how about both? Is that yes. two questions or is that one? Two. Okay. Oh, hey. Well, I just think that sometimes there have been moments where we've been laughing and it's not a funny moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I've, seen, I've seen a little bit of this so far. When we do ADR, um, what Dean was talking about earlier on, but yeah, you can see bits where we've been smiling now and again. Mark Freeman would always, would always crack us up because he knows that we, we laugh uh, at the top of a hat. So um, <laughs> you can see in the back of shots sometimes in, in more serious scenes, uh, us two kind of laughing. It's not very professional, but it's fun to watch, so you look out for that. I think, I mean, I've said it a million times, but watching Stephen have to get stuck in a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. It's so good. Um, <laughs> anything, basically, Stephen had to address the bomb doing anything. That's right. That's being said this as well. That, that was the funniest thing of the, oh, two and a half years for me, just watching Stephen Hunter, watching Bomber, any time he walked in the room, anything Bomber did, anything he said was just hilarious all of the time. He's a ridiculous character, I love him. Um... You were asked a question about hobbits in New Zealand earlier, and I've just graduated college with a degree in anthropology and sociology. Oh, yeah. And one They're of hobbits. our classes talked about that. It's oh, yeah. actually called the island effect, and what it is is um, things sure? either get larger or smaller if they are isolated to a certain um, climate or right. environment, and the hobbit was a prime example of that. It was a normal human, only it ended up shrinking to the size of a child to, um... Jesus. <laughs> that explains a lot. Thanks, good. All right, we got time for one more question. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually gonna ask you guys a question. What? Yeah. Who came the furthest to see these guys? Um, I know, I know one person came to see them. We have a last guy on the back. Kansas. You must have paperwork to document this. How about someone anyone outside of the States? Yes, we have Scotland, yes, Canada. Canada. Isn't that part of America? No, I'm just, just joking. I'm just joking. It's because I get a lot of people going, oh, you're from New Zealand. I'm like, yeah, they're like, like, yeah, which part of Australia is it? Yeah, I'm just joking. No, I know Canada's totally separate. But you're joined. Hey, you touch. <laughs> I thought we had a Scotland, no? Yeah, we did, we had a Scottish... Yes, I we had Scotland. You were born, that doesn't count. Alright, last question goes to the person who was furthest away, and it looks like that was Alaska. So, I came up 
all the way from Alaska to see you, Dean. Uh, yeah. As soon as, as soon as I heard you were going to be here, I booked my flight right away. Um, this, this question my, my hair, by the way, used to look like yours. Just like, you know, when I was like 22 to 25, I had hair like that for years. I think I've seen pictures of that. Yeah. It, was the, it was the coolest thing. We, we did photos earlier on today, right? Yeah. And uh, when you were walking off, you just you said, Dean, can I get a hug, man? And you just gave the biggest hug. It was the biggest hug. I was waiting on a hug. You were like, I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> You didn't give me shit. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Nola! Yeah, Sorry, buddy. Like, the one that got pixelated on you or pixelated on me, and we're like. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this, this question is actually, um, I'm asking it for a friend. Uh, we all know what happens, you know, at the end of the battle of five armies, and I just. Uh, no! Oh, oh, no! Oh, oh, we won't tell you anything. We won't tell you anyway. Well, we were just wondering if there were actual tears on the set during the shooting oh, for that. Oh, okay. I tell you what, I can't tell you about that. But, oh no, I can't tell you about the other thing I was going to tell you about as well. <laughs> I hurt. <laughs> I mean, there were tears not... I mean, there were tears as we were finishing the shoot. Absolutely. Okay. We're going to take one more last question since that had to be a non-answer. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. I, I would love to tell you guys. It really would, but, uh, you know. Get sued. <laughs> <laughs> Peter. Please stand up. Be prepared for everybody in here outside asking you to prove that. <laughs> um, I'm not from Sally. I'm from right next to it in a small country called Oman. Yeah. And I just wanted to say hi because I'm a really big fan. But I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the microphone to my friend because he's had his hand up for the whole night. So. Oh man. Oh, man. Yeah, you're on my grudge list. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. No. Uh, Don't blow it, boy. No. Uh, <laughs> Uh, how is it working with Ian McKellen? Amazing. Incredible. Amazing. He's such an inspirational man. I mean, he's, he's so lovely. Uh, you kind of wish that you guys would know how great he is. To hang out with him for, for a couple of years was just extraordinary. He's so kind and so generous and so funny. Um, and he doesn't need to be because he's Ian McKellen. He can do whatever the hell he wants, but he, but he isn't. He, he's an inspiration um, and, and one of my, my all-time favorites, I think. Yeah. Me too, absolutely. Everything he said, absolutely. Oh, and one more thing. Um, my friend uh, wanted me to ask if I could get a hug. <laughs> from, from, from over there. Yeah. <laughs> Go. I think you guys are gonna get huggled to death. There we go. Thanks, uh, thanks so much for coming and the seats, guys. You did really, really well.